Hi everyone, myself Jyoti Prasad from RMD Engineering College. Uh, we are going to discuss about uh, error control coding in the digital communications. So first we will see about the introduction to linear block codes. So uh, why we need for error controlling? So in a typical typical block diagram of a communication systems. So we will encode these digital source sources, discrete sources into uh, a modulated wave through in the through the with the help of a channel encoder and modulator through a waveform means of waveform we are sending through the channel and at the receiver we will detect it and we will convert it back to the original form so while we are doing like this uh, some of the errors may happen how we are going to control that errors uh, with the help of linear block codes and uh, convolution codes we are going to see the, the purpose of the additional here while we are transmitting like this we will add some extra bits that bits is called as redundant bits. What is the purpose of that redundant bits to increase transmission bandwidth and to reduce uh, uh, and uh, increase the bandwidth. So, but also it will really adds complexity to system. So, classification of this uh, error control codes we, we can classify into main types as black block codes and convolution codes. Another type is also there according to uh, li linear, non-linear. So, two types of codes are there. Linear is nothing but which we will do the modulo 2 arithmetic operation. If I if I do modulo 2 arithmetic operation between two code words, another code word is also a third code word is also a linear code. It will produce a linear uh, code word, then it is going to be linear code. So like I said in previous slide, uh, block codes and convolution codes will be there. Block codes normally will represent as n comma k, notation as n comma k. So where n is the total size of the block, uh, which includes k message bits, n minus k redundant bits or check bits. Convolution codes we will see later. So while we are doing this, uh, may, many errors may happen. That errors can be categorized into random errors and burst errors. First we will see about linear block codes. Like I said, linear block codes which will have k message bits and n minus k n minus k so we are linear combination of these message bits and check bits gives the check bits are parity bits we can say this one as check bits are parity bits these parity bits we are adding parity bits and message bits both combination linear combination of these two things is nothing but uh, linear block codes so what is a code rate so how many message bits are there so the ratio of message bits to total size of the bits is nothing but code rate See uh, what are the parity bits? Why we are why we need parity bits? Already we have informed we have discussed here. Parity bits will help us in the error detection where the error happened. That is called detection and how to correct that one error correction. So to locate the error and correct the error, parity bits will be helpful. So the, in the data being transmitted, leftmost bit one zero one 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 zero one one like that. If we take any other code, the leftmost bit is called as MSB. MSB, leftmost bit of the code word corresponds to message bits. So, message bits means, for example, we are taking 7. 7, for example, 7, 4 linear code we are taking. Then the first 4 will be, first 4 will be message bits. The next 3 will be the check bits. So, the left hand side, the MSBs will be message bits on the right side which is called as check bits i will show you in the pictorial representation see the message bits will be arranged as a k message bits in the left hand side and the right hand side check bits we are going to arrange so normally check bits we will give a notation that q check bits q check bits so q is how what is the value of q check bits means from the total size of the message bits if we subtract the message uh, total number of size of the linear block code if we subtract the message bits we will get the check bits that's why i'm calling as n minus k it is nothing but q q check bits we are adding so normally the notation of the linear block code is n comma k so how to how you check how these check bits will be generated we will have a doubt how the check bits will be generated we can see this picture See here the message for, for example day four message bits are there m1 m2 m3 m4 how can i rep, how can i uh, produce check bit c1 means see by linear combination modulo 2 operation i am doing 
see here this 3 m1 m2 m3 i am doing xr operation between these three bits produces c1 produces c1 and this is a blue blue line m1 m2 m4 the three bits xr operation gives the c2 Let's see the red line m1 m3 m4 the linear operation modulo 2 operation of these three bits gives c3 so where we are getting from check bits means from message bits itself so that's why this is called as a encoder encoder so one time at each time we will take the message bits we will write the message bits here first and parallelly check bits will be calculated then switch will be turned over to here then we will generate check bits and write here check bits put together totally we will call it as linear block code so in linear block codes uh, we have two main main things two or three main things generator matrix parity matrix parity check matrix what is generator matrix in order to encode a code word into a code word say code word entire code word or we can say it as encoded word say x is after encoding what is the notation is encoded code word is x which is a combination of message bits into generator bits message bits into generator bits so what is generator matrix here see under that m we have given the size 1 cross k under the generator matrix we have given the size as k cross n what is this k cross n in the matrix form you know that k cross n is nothing but k rows this for rows this is for columns n is nothing for, for columns we know that one very well so what is the structure of generator matrix means so it will have two sub matrix first sub matrix is ik ik so for example say 7 comma 4 linear block code i am taking 7 comma 4 so in this one n message bits is 7 k n n total block size is n 7 k message bits means 4 message bits so what i what is the size of the identity matrix first sub matrix i should take means depends upon message so what is the message bits 4 so i will take as i4 here so you know identity matrix what is identity matrix a diagonal will be 1 so a 4 cross 4 matrix the diagonal elements will become 1 that is nothing but i4 p k cross q so what is the size of the parity matrix p is nothing but parity matrix what is the size of this parity matrix means k cross q k rows q columns k is nothing but message q is nothing for check check bits so in this case 7 comma 4 what is the check bit means 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 3 check bits will be there so then parity matrix will be in the order of 4 cross 4 cross 3 4 cross 3 this is the second sub matrix if we combine two sub matrices first i k is the first sub matrix p k cross q if we if we add together if we or if we combine together the size of the generator matrix is uh, k cross n previous case what i said 7 comma 4 block code then the generator matrix size is 4 cross 7 4 cross 7 okay so this is about the generator matrix so with the generator matrix help we can multiply with the message bits and we will get the encoded code word x so the same thing we have given here p matrix size sub matrix so generator matrix will have two sub matrices identity matrix ik sub matrix p parity matrix k cross q so how can you find out check bits so in the previous slide i told you check bits check bits will be calculated from the message bits from the encoder diagram the same way how can you in equation form how can we get check bits means c check bits can be a row vector check bits for example say check bits means how many check bits c1 c2 c3 in the 7 comma 4 example i have told you that 7 comma 4 4 message bits 7 entire code word so then 7 minus 4 3 check bits will be there so then how we will write down check bits vector means c1 c2 c3 c1 c2 c3 we will write as a row vector so how you are find, going to check find the c1 c2 c3 means with the help of message and parity m into p this is the equation c equal to m into p so uh, m into p so first m what is the message matrix means that those also a row vector 
m1 m2 m3 m4 four symbols you are going to write here that will be multiplied with a parity matrix parity matrix p already we have discussed what is the size of the parity matrix so the the resultant is nothing but check bits a row vector so other than these uh, two things generator matrix parity matrix we have another term called parity check matrix what is parity check matrix the notation is h so in some of the linear we are encoding that word into code word encoding the message bits four message bits into seven 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 size of the code word after that how to check whether the error is happened or not how to correct the error it depends upon the syndrome so syndrome if it is a formula c is equal to syndrome s equal to yeah, s equal to y into h transpose or error into h transpose there we need h transpose matrix if you want to know the h transpose we want to know about h matrix parity check matrix so how what is the order what is the order or how the h matrix will looks like parity check matrix means the first sub matrix is p transpose whatever the p matrix parity check parity matrix we are having p matrix that we want to transpose rows as a columns columns as a rows okay so here k cross q means here this order is q cross n p transpose order is q cross n sorry q cross k q cross k and an identity matrix of size q how many check bits that many that is the order of the i identity matrix if you place these two sub matrix if we combine then the order of the h matrix is q cross n so observe carefully what is the size of the generator matrix k cross n what is the size of parity check matrix q cross n so as we are having check bits parity check bits q cross n as we are having message here information k cross n so this is about linear block codes okay thank you we will see about the problem in the next class